We're back 923. Excited about this net next interview. Lava flow seems to be slowing down significantly from the last 24 hours from Mauna Loa on the big island of Hawaii. Officials say the current landscape of uh, parts of the land is helping to keep lava f from flowing across a major highway. The highway runs east to west through the center of the island and is often used to travel between two parts of the Big Island. Experts believe it could be a week before the lava intersects with the major highway there. Or sooner, we'll have to see. Well, now, we've been following this story all week long, and joining us this morning is a geography professor at Sam Houston State University up in Huntsville. She was born and raised in Hawaii and now co-teaches a Hawaii field course for students talking about the environmental and cultural diversity of the Big Island. Ava Fujimoto Strait is going to give us some insight on the situation on the Big Island of Hawaii. Good morning, Ava. Good morning, how is everyone? We're very Good. well, thank you. Let's start, how big a deal is Mauna Loa's eruption? It is a big deal. It has not happened for about 38 years. And what makes it really amazing is that not only is Mauna Loa erupting, but you have Kilauea that has been continuously erupting. And so you have two glows that you can actually see some, from some parts of the island. And give us some background on Mauna Loa and volcanoes in the Hawaiian Islands in general. They play a significant role in Hawaiian culture, don't they? Yes, definitely. Um, the Hawaiians believe in a volcano goddess, Pele, and it's basically Hawaii would not exist if you didn't have the volcanic eruptions. And so Hawaii is over a hot spot. Um, you can see on the map there, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. There's actually five volcanoes on the Big Island of Hawaii. Um, and so being able to witness this and see this and respecting the land and always keeping that in mind is really important for Hawaiian culture. Ava, changing the subject a little bit with the holidays coming up, some Americans may have Christmas trips planned to the islands. Will any of this volcanic activity affect air travel in the coming weeks? Probably not. Um, a lot of people are going to Oahu, Maui, or Kauai, which is safe and air travel won't be affected. Depending on the lava and the eruption, there could be some bog in the air, which is volcanic smog. Um, but the airport Hilo and Kona are on either coast of the Big Island. And where this volcanic eruption is happening, it should not have too much of an impact. So definitely check before you fly, but I would not change any plans whatsoever. If you are going to Hawaii Island, this is a spectacular time to actually go and to be able to witness this event. Pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah. Well, bringing the subject back to Texas for a moment, are there remnants of volcanoes here in Texas? And if so, where? Uh, we actually do. There was volcanism like 30 to 80 million years ago. And so what you're going to see is not your stereotypical image of a volcano. It's actually eroded extensively. Um, sometimes they're covered by other sediment that has been deposited on top of it. But if you go out to Big Bend National Park, the Chizos Volcanic Complex area, the Paisano Pass between Alpine and Marfa, uh, the Davis Mountains, and then near closer to San Antonio, you have Pilot Knob, which is in Austin. But it's more like a mound rather than um, your stereotypical volcano. It's got to be an exciting time to teach uh, what you teach right now, Ava. Uh, Yes, I love it. Um, this definitely brings attention to geography and geology. And um, I'm a little bit biased, but I think they're amazing majors. And to see these in action and to get amazing video footage and pictures that you're seeing on social media make it so much more rewarding and relate to class concepts. Well, as long as the eruptions don't get bigger, this sounds like an right. amazing uh, opportunity to visit the islands and look more into the topic itself, right? Yes. Oh, definitely. Um, I think in 2018, when Kilauea was erupting, a lot of people were canceling air tickets. And this is actually the best time to go. Um, it's kind of something that hasn't happened in 40 years. And so to be able to see it is amazing. The mayor of the county of Hawaii has done a really good job. A lot of people were pulling off on the highway and that was a safety issue. And so they've actually designated um, areas where people can go and view. And you have about a 90 minute limit where you can sit and take your pictures and be able to experience this. Super interesting. Well, Ava Fujimoto straight from Sam Houston State University. Mele Kalikimaka, thanks for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Mele Kalikimaka to you all. All right. Happy thanks. Holidays. Thank you very yeah, much as well. Holidays. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.